wonderful people. Welcome to Who's That TV, the best Christian entertaining channel that you can find. As you have promised to deliver exclusive Christian content, trending news, and sermons, anything Christian related, you find us there. As you are here, please subscribe to the channel. You know what? Like this video and then let us get interactive in the comment section. On today's episode, Prophet Nigel Gazi. Uh, he is head over heels and excited on his Facebook page. And we want to find out why. So you want to know? Stick with me. Let's pray for the monarch of England. The monarch of England. The Lord carry my spirit. Right from season. And I go to Buckingham Palace. To Buckingham Palace. And I saw that there were a lot of flowers. No, we that in the day, and I saw that great England was crying. No, we that in England. Let's pray for the queen. So this prophecy was given by Prophet Nigel Gazi on the 31st of December 2021, what we, mo we mostly call 31st night or what night or all night. And yesterday as it was confirmed that the Queen, Her Majesty had passed away, Prophet Nigel Gazi took to his Facebook page to write some stuff and that generated a lot of heat in the comment section. Then we are here to be able to talk about it. So you let us read what he actually plays on his Facebook page. He said prophecy number 21 or 24. That is December 31st first prophecies. I was inspired to say that the Queen of England will die and it just came to pass. It is not all of us that are joking. Prophecies are real. He says see you them my branch church morning, church tomorrow morning, 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. Um, so that is what he, he actually sent or wrote on his Facebook page. Uh, the fact that he prophesied that the queen will pass away and the queen happened to have passed away. So not all prophets are jokers. That is to say he is not within the category of those who are jokers because when he prophesies, it comes to pass. This gener has generated a lot of engagement in terms of comments, reactions and all that. We will just take a look at one or two of the comments. Then also with that TV, we also drop our opinions on it. Okporo Kenneth says that he also prophesied that the comical Kuku Anan of Netu TV will be laid off and surely came to pass. Kofi Wise Ken says, why is your prophecies always about death? Everything and everyone dies. Prophesy about something good, okay? Oh no, I can't say that. Manchester says that the queen was 96. Her death was just a matter of time. The logic is there for all to see, boss. Don't come use this oppo the opportunity to hype yourself and your church so that you can benefit from trending. Christian Christian says, logic reasoning will tell you this was a guess. She was already a chicken, a chicken time bomb. So stop the cap. Stop capping. Dinah says, hey, the meaning are, are you there it's, it's been a while eric eric who happens to be a tough fan says that i remember this that prophecy um adam say this is below the belt the death of a 96 year old woman a prophecy christ come and see your people naomi says it's true i heard the prophecy only money man says that get away you prophesy Muhammad will win he lost you had an excuse for it. If the queen had survived this year, you would turn and say your prayers averted it. Linda, the nation's Linda, if you are Gazi says, hey, Gazi, okay, the nation's prophet. Frankobo says the royal prophet of God. Mahima Lumba says prophet Nigel Gazi. I remember this part. Zainab says, God bless you, sir, and keep doing the good work of God. Abdallah says that yes, I remember that prophecy. You are a true man of God. We are still waiting for Ghana's own. <laughs> Someone asks, Lord, Ghana, Ghana, own how? He says that that one there, it's, it's in my head. The stealing is too much. Yeah, I don't even know what he actually means by that. Obrim Pon says that why make it seem as if death is not inevitable? For Christ's sake, she clocked 96 and just as one's health gradually fails. As aging crops in, it's for sure that one day the person cell to gradually for fail, which leads to death. Cause no man is immortal. No, nature will always have its way. 
let the departed soul be. Hasn't any old person in your family passed on due to gradual health failure? So what's the big deal about this about prophecy? Blah blah. And I, ah ah. But 96 year old who didn't know she, she was going to die anytime soon. Where from this predict and, and win? Prince wrote a uh, hashtag PNG, which means Prophet Nigel Gage. And then I now also showed a laughing emoji. These are currently some of the interactions that are taking place on his Facebook page. And you know, this is our take as Woza TV. Sometimes these issues about prophecies and uh, it makes it brings out a whole lot of questions. It makes people have a lot of issues even about our faith. You see, we, mo- we make people think that prophecy is solely about evil or something negative and all that. And then sometimes some of these prophecies instill fear in the hearts of people. But you know, in, in 2 Timothy 1 7, the Bible said that for God had not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. So God does not give fear. God does not emanate fear. Anything or everything that comes out from or anything that God is involved is full of love. It empowers you and also gives you sound mind. You know, so we, we sometimes need to really Look at these things. I, I'm not even saying that God cannot reveal something negative about someone or you cannot see something negative about another person. You surely can. But there's a way maybe you communicate it. And even with that, there's nobody in the, in the Bible that maybe prophesied something that they say negative, like some saw something negative and then spoke it. Because to prophesy means to speak the mind of God, like basically. So spoke what maybe God showed or told him and then he was later jubilating that maybe it has happened especially when uh, the loss of a life is involved to just prove that you are uh, what let's say what um, you are technically correct or you are prophetically accurate you know it really really brings a lot of questions in first Corinthians chapter 14 verses number three apostle paul says that but when a person speaks what god has revealed revealed he speaks to people to help them grow so prophecy helps to comes to come and help us grow in our faith to encourage us and to comfort us so prophecy even when someone is 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 in the midst of troubles god can give you a word of prophecy to comfort the person when someone is down god can give you a word of prophecy to 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 encourage the person so hey do you know that this Receiving a word from God to tell somebody that um, you are loved, be strengthened, uh, God is with you. It is a word of prophecy. We have been, we have grown up to think that being able to say what someone is wearing, mentioning phone numbers, is what makes someone a, 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 an accurate prophet or that, that. No, no, those, no, they, they are, they, those, those things are there. They are part of the giftings. But we don't dwell on these things. See, the legitimacy of a man of God is not in the prophecies or is not in uh, in the miracles he displays, but in the message he preaches. Let me tell you something. Do you know that fetish priests and soothsayers are able to also, should I say, I won't use the word prophesy, but they are able to predict things, outcome, events, and they surely do happen, as they said. So, if you solely based on what maybe you said and it came to pass, then there is something wrong. You know, when when Moses approached the people of Egypt to let go of uh, the Israelite, any miracle he performed, they performed the same. Okay, we 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 we, we celebrate right now. We we don't even know if um, the the queen the queen was a believer as in she believed in christ or not we don't know because none of us are really close to her except those who are closer who can tell so if i prophesy let's say in quote i prophesy that she would die and maybe she dies and she wasn't a believer that is a loss to the kingdom because god wants all men to be saved okay so we i don't know but i don't know how to put this so that maybe i won't sound so offensive but prophecy yes but anytime prof- that is why bible told us to judge every prophecy so you let one speak and let the others judge. So there is a mandate on us to judge that which has been said. We don't just take anything like, you know, because it has been said. 
Uh, when you go to the Facebook page, you see that there are some warriors attacking people who have um, different views, insulting them, calling them names and all that. Yeah, so man of God spoke and then it has come to pass. Okay, but it involved the death of someone. I'm very sure that if it happens to anybody, even in your family, you won't be you won't be excited about it. That you, the, the death of a loved one, of someone who is close to you. So that is why we don't celebrate some of these things. Okay, we we we, we rather we rather have to pray and then believe God that the gospel will reach everyone. As in be, me being the most accurate prophet, or you being the 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 best insider or the best person to receive in-depth revelation it doesn't matter if at the end of it all men are not coming to knowledge and men are not getting saved okay but just like of what Paul said in first corinthians you know what prophecy comes to do so if i come to you and i speak a word i speak a word to you and the word i spoke you you, you measure it to scripture and then you don't see any of these three traits in it to encourage it comes to, to 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 encourage you to help you grow in your faith and to comfort you when necessary and there's a question mark okay uh, even in the, in, the, in the new testament you realize that a, a prophet came to paul and illustrated that this is what is going to happen to the the person who is that is paul going to this particular place but they didn't take any sort of pride you know it has happened no no our pride is in the message we preach because the gospel is the power of God unto salvation. That is where our joy and our our sort of excitement comes from. Our excitement is not in operating in the gift or manifesting in the gift. No. Or working miracles. No, 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 no. Our excitement, our joy is that God has saved us. And has given us a mission to speak that same message to others. For them to be saved. Or to bring men to knowledge. It's one thing to be saved. It's another thing to come to knowledge. And to come to knowledge, you need teachings. We, we live in uh, the days that when a man of God is diligent in teaching, most people or most believers in court will be tagging the person as, as not powerful because he, he, he gives sound teaching. God, they are not, they, 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 they have itchy ears. They want to see some things to reach you. If you want to know how powerful a man of God is, look at the message he preaches. It is the message. The power is in the message. The power we speak, the power is in the word. So the words we speak, they are power. Okay? So we speak the word, we preach Christ. That Christ is the power. So we preach Christ. That is what defines who the man of God is. Not what he has done. Fetish Spirit do say. I was telling some people a couple of days that, do you know that making people fall down is not what defines power? Because sometimes you go to some of these herbalists and fetish, but they can even use some herbs and stuff on you. And you fall like, someone will say, like you're under the anointing. That is what happens. So please, let us be very diligent in our Christian faith. Let us celebrate people coming to knowledge. We have, we have, we have, we have lost track in the sense that we celebrate people buying or gaining material stuff and then... When people come to the gospel, come to be, become believers, we don't even celebrate them. We don't even celebrate it because we, we see no pride in that. We rather want people to say, I bought a car, I did this. No, church. Uh, our Jesus died to save men. So it should be our heartfelt prayer to see men saved at all costs and at every time. This is the little that we can say in regards to this video. We will end it here. And I will just say that be, be, be good and make sure that you, you subscribe to the channel as usual. I know that we surely come your way if you hear or see any other thing. If you also have something that you want us to discuss, you can also drop it in the comment or message us, send us a mail using our email and we will, we will gladly attend to it. God bless you.